It's yeah. How about that? Yeah. Here it is, May. Before we get to this morning's headlines, we want to check in with the other member of our Good Day Columbus team. That's Johnny D. Johnny, where are you today? Kent, we are at the Park of Roses, and we're going to talk about something called parkour. Now, if you've seen the new James Bond film, then you have a good idea of what I look like without a shirt. You also, that was a joke. You also, that was a joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to laugh at that point. Yeah, at that point. <clears throat> insert laughter. But if you saw the foot chase at the beginning of the film, the big action sequence, that's called parkour. And Armand and his friend Dan Buckley, they're, they're tracers. And they're going to show us everything we need to know to begin becoming a parkour practitioner. Parkour. Okay, we'll figure it out this morning. Thanks, Johnny. And Johnny, I You're laughed, welcome. by the way. You couldn't hear did me, you, Terry? Yeah, I did a silent Thank little you. laugh. So. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Johnny DiLoretto giving it a try. Uh, Johnny, there's a disclaimer on this, right? Kids don't want to try this at home. Is that correct? Yeah. No, nobody wants to try this at home. We're <laughs> right now. We're just going to introduce you to this thing called parkour. This is Armand Wong. He is a practitioner or a tracer. Mm -hmm. It started French. The the sport is a French. Yeah, it's a French origin. And would you even call it a sport? Um, yeah. It's well, it's a physical activity. It's a uh, Sport. Uh, however, there's no point system and it's non-competitive, so that's what really makes it different than at other sports. Okay. Now we've been talking about the Bond film Casino Royale, which came out last November, and that was, I think, my first introduction to this this thing, mm -hmm. this activity. There's a big foot chase at the beginning where Bond is chasing this guy, and they're going through they're going through a construction site and. Uh, the man that he's chasing is just kind of unstopped by all these obstacles. Right. Is that, that basically the... Yeah, that's, that's a, the main theme of parkour is to use the natural abilities of the human body to get over obstacles and through or under things uh, as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Okay, and that's what we've been talking about. This morning we've been talking off camera, and that comes up again and again, efficiency of movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, would you, would you define it as an urban sort of practice? Yeah, it's, it's primarily practiced in urban areas, but can also be practiced in rural areas because you can also do it over natural obstacles like trees and rocks as well. Okay, so that's why we're here at the Park of Roses. We got some, we got some trees, we got some park benches, we got a little shelter area over there that we're gonna practice some uh, some moves and some foundations, all very safely. Armand assures me. Very and safe. just to give you a little taste, here's Dan Buckley. He's gonna do something called a tic tac. Yep. Just something like that, one little move like that, mm -hmm. but it can translate into, well, a big, cool action scene. Yep. We so come on together. back. That's right, Terry. Yeah, you know, Kent, you couldn't have said it better. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. It is about efficiency of movement from point A to point B in a very fluid, almost artistic way, Armand. I mean, wouldn't you say? Yeah, sometimes it does look artistic, but that's not the main point of parkour. Mm -hmm. There's another sport that comes off that free running, and in free running, aesthetics are more important. But in parkour, there's like no flips or anything like that. It's okay. more about efficiency. So it is about efficiency, and like we saw before in the clip uh, earlier, you have to know how to land, to land and fall. Now, uh, Armand is going to demonstrate some vaulting for us. You want to do that for us, Armand? These are basic building block moves, right, Dan? You, yeah. You walk us through. Okay. First thing he's going to do is called the simple vault. Um, this is your basic vault. He's just going to place both of his hands up on the ledge. Um, he's got his shoulders above his hands, so mm -hmm. he's supporting his weight. Now he's just going to kick his legs over to the side. Yep. Yeah, okay. that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now what we were talking about, let me run over here. Right. I want, what we were talking about is my instinct earlier was to go like this, Armand. Like I would go like that, you know, like, but tell me why that's wrong, Dan. Be, um, it's wrong because it's wasted energy. Um, and you can, yeah, you can also you easily can trip. trip and fall. Um, the other way, you're not, you're not even touching the okay. wall. You're just taking your energy straight over, you keep that momentum going, um, and it's, you're not being slowed down. Okay, so. do some just crazy stuff for us, Armand. Go, just run wild and uh, let's see it. <laughs> and you tell us what you, that's a... That's a simple vault, that's turn a turn vault. vault. Yep. I see I'm picking these up. Yeah, see, there you go. How about a cat vault? There, there boom, you go. like that, right? That's yeah. pretty amazing. Uh, do it one more time, Armand. I just want to show everybody really quickly. We'll wrap up here. A cat vault. Nope. Oh, Two turn vaults. Two turn vaults. The cat vault. That's you cat. see that? His knees come up actually. That's very difficult. It's very difficult to do. When we come back, we're going to learn about uh, 
what the gap jump 820 right now the new sport parkour quickly sweeping the nation we're told it's a sport guided in part by the notions of escape and reach the ability of using quick thinking on your feet to get out of difficult situations good day columbus's johnny de loretto is live in north columbus to explain the technique more johnny that's right, Terry. By the way, we are on the cutting edge. No one, I mean, there are very few parkour practitioners here. Well, there are a few, I mean, in Columbus, but this is the first time it's ever been featured on a local news program, so let's take credit. Good day, Columbus. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm live in Park of Roses with Dan Buckley and Armand Wong. They are tracers, practitioners of the fine art of movement, escape, yes. or chase. Or chase. Yeah. Interesting. It's parkour. And we are, in just a minute, about ready to give you all the elements that we talked about all morning long in one crazy demonstration. It's going to be pretty cool. You want to do just a, give us a little taste, Armand? Just a little taste. Don't spoil it. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. A little tic-tac, some vaults, and there he goes. He's escaped. Okay. Let's see, Armand, you got about a minute, Armand, to uh, put all the basic building blocks together and give us a little demonstration in this shelter here at Parker Roses. All right. And Dan, you can walk us through what he's, what he's doing. Okay. That was the tic-tac. That's a turn vault. That's a cat jump. I like the cat jumps. Yeah, cat jump's cool. That's a simple vault. Turn vault. Another turn vault. All right. How about Armand? Do that thing where you jump up and you do the precision and then you kind of weave in and out of the thing. That's a tic-tac, turn vault. Yeah, that's a precision. Yeah, that's, that's harder than it looks. I yeah, imagine. especially if you're doing something narrow like a rail. Right. Yep, a cat jump, turn vault. Okay, ball. cool, excellent. So those are the basic moves. When we come back, we'll wrap up, maybe tell you where you can start to practice this or learn it yourself. Sure. Okay, so we'll talk to Dan and Armand in just a few minutes.